Hi there. Geometrical figures, we're looking at the third test of the test for congruent triangles. This one's known as test 3, AAS. As we test for congruent triangles, to see if two triangles are congruent, we can apply one of four tests. We've had a look at SSS, SAS, this one's AAS, and we'll go on to look at RHS as one of the tests. So this one, though, states that if two, two angles and one side of a triangle are equal to two angles and one side of another triangle, the triangles are congruent. So let's have a look at an example. We're supposed to prove that triangle MNP on the left is congruent to triangle XYZ. We have to list a whole bunch of information geometrically and uh, see if it adds up to enough for us to pass a test for congruent triangles. Now this is an AAS rule and as you could probably guess we're trying to make an angle statement, another angle statement and a side statement that talks about the relationship between these two triangles and that should be enough information for us to conclude that these two triangles may be congruent. Let's see if we can pick the first angle statement. You'll notice the symbol for one of the angles is a blob, a black blob, and so we have that angle known as angle MNP. It's named for the vertex there. MNP has the black blob on it. We're saying that in the other triangle, the angle XYZ is also having that black blob on there, which we can trust uh, when they have the same symbol on a diagram that it's the same size as each other. So that's an angle statement we've made. It's been given to us in the diagram, so we'll just put that in brackets. Uh, the markers need to know how you got that information or how you concluded that information. So we're saying that's given to us in the question, and that's an angle statement. That's our first of our two angle statements in this particular proof. So let's have a look. Uh, we've, we've chosen to work on our first line there of, with the black blob. We see that that occurs in both uh, triangles and they must be equal. Let's have a look at the blue angles then. They're given to us in each of these uh, triangles. Angle PMN is the blue angle. On the other triangle, the blue angle is ZXY. So that blue angle has been named in each of those two uh, triangles and we're saying they're equal uh, because they've got the same shading of blue there, the same symbol really, same markings, and so they're the same as each other. That's given to us in the question as well. And that's our second angle statement. Now we're going to look for a side statement that'll uh, finish off our proof here. Can you see that MP has the same single marking on it that uh, XZ has? So we can take that as uh, the people setting the question indicating to us that they're the same length as each other. And that's also given to us in the question. So that's our side statement and that is actually enough information for us to show that these uh, two triangles are congruent because that's past the test to say that triangle MNP on the left is congruent to a triangle XYZ on the right. And the reason why it's enough information because we've, we've collected enough information to have an angle, angle and a side statement between one triangle and the other and that's uh, completed our proof to prove that the triangle MNP is congruent to the triangle XYZ. So set your work out carefully, look from one triangle to the other and piece together the information that you need to list and then can, you can conclude that the two triangles are congruent using the AAS test which states that if two triangles, sorry, if two angles and one side of one triangle are equal to two angles and one side of another triangle, the triangles are congruent. That's the AAS test. Catch you next time, peterblakemath.com.